So I have been looking for me a large digital clock to put on the wall in the bathroom. And I ran across this one on Amazon. So I thought I would give it a try and show you what uh, I find. Well, let's get it opened up and check it out. Looks like this one does have the temperature and the date as well as the days on it as well. well that is pretty cool. Comes nicely wrapped in uh, bubble wrap here to keep it safe during shipping. Comes with your digital wall clock user manual, remote control, a USB cord that will go into jack type plug, and it comes with the USB power adapter. Plug that in there and that into the clock, and we're good to go. Comes with some mounting hardware and little push pins. You can push these into the wall and slide it down with the little key type hooks we'll plug in right here on the back and run your cord right out there let me show you closer here are little push pins here that i was talking about get those open up and i will show you so it comes with a little template as well get that put up on your wall and that'll show you where to put the holes at the hole spacing right here between here and here these little push pins You'll just push them up against the wall. They have a little tack sticking out. You can just kind of get a little hammer and tap that in. And when you get ready to put this up there, it'll just go in like that. And then they'll slide up and lock into place. Have it attached to the wall. Like I said, it does have a nice heavy remote, actually. Appears it already has a battery in it. It's got the plastic sleeve right here. To just remove that to activate that battery. You're not going to be using it. I would suggest putting it back in there to keep from draining that battery quicker. There's that power block and our cord here. So this one is a clear cord, which I prefer. That way it doesn't uh, stand out like a sore thumb up against the wall. Now our power plug is right here. So we can run this in, plug it in right there. And depending on if you're wall outlet is going to be on this side you could run it right through that little groove right here that way it fits flush up against the wall or you can turn it and run it this way you run it above it or, or below that and run it out on this side now if you have a, a plug close to where you're going to put this clock you can just use this center right here to wrap this access wire around Otherwise, it's not just dangling out, which will be my case. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up some. And we're just going to go with that for right now. Uh, probably wrap some more, but I want to flip this over and show you the display and everything. I'll get it plugged in over here. Also, it does have the buttons over here on, on the side. In case you lose your remote, you still are able to use the clock. There we go. Like I said, we can remove this little sleeve right here from the remote. We should be able to adjust everything right here. We want this on the 12 hour. We have the time set. Currently 12.37 in the a.m. So that's good right there. Of course, we're on a p.m. So we need to change that. Get it over to the a.m. And we hit OK. It'll move over to our minutes. And uh, we can proceed from here. If you hold that button down, it will go quicker. 1238 now. We'll hit OK. The year is 2023, so we're good there. Current date is February 6th. We we'll need to change that to a 2. OK. Go up to the 6th. We're good there. So we are wrong. This is Tuesday, February 6th. We had a change of year so let me go back and uh, uh fix this uh, okay 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 oh nope i missed it didn't i but okay okay and we'll go up a year because it is 2024 now tuesday at 12 39 february 6 we have it set to celsius over here we're going to go ahead and change that to fahrenheit you can change the display colors whichever you prefer i kind of like that one myself and it does have a dimmer on it you can turn it down low wow i didn't notice that 
does have a light on the back. You turn the light on and off if you just need a like a night light or whatever. You put auto dimmer so it will dim when it uh, gets bright in there and it'll brighten up when it gets darker. You have your alarm buttons on the remote. And I'm holding the remote upside down, but alarm one, two, you have alarm one and alarm two. You can turn those alarms on and off, whichever you need. Right here in the center is our Celsius and Fahrenheit. We'll click that over to Fahrenheit. There we go. Currently it's 75 degrees inside my home. This will measure the inside temperature. It won't measure the outside temperature. So that's temperature inside your where the clock is located. You have a timer. You can run a timer if you'd like. If you need to pause it, just hit the OK button. Hit the timer button and it will resume. And hold that button in, that timer button up there. And hold that in and uh, it will set it back. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it's got your different display colors. Main thing is getting it set up, and you can set alarms on here. Um, your inside temperature. Nice little clock. I like it. Okay, now I'm going to go get this put up, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I am an Amazon associate, so any qualifying purchases that you make through any of my Amazon links, I will receive a small commission from. Thanks for watching.